Ooh, what's up guys welcome back to the channel thank you for tuning in i hope everyone is feeling uh good yeah just good because look we're going to be reacting and reviewing to neon graves all that we become and um so this band has hit me up quite a few times and i feel bad i'm finally getting them onto the channel and just taking account that i i get probably like hundred requests a day from you know email DMs YouTube comments like everywhere so uh, it's hard to get all these bands on the channel because like man I'm only one person I also have a full-time job YouTube is not my full-time job uh, some of you guys don't realize that but yeah you don't make money off YouTube just keep that in mind but yeah anyway besides the point I have heard actually one song from these guys that was Lost Cause and it was actually really good really good because um, the vocalist had some really good cleans and I was very impressed by the cleans and he's got some good harsh vocals too but uh, yeah the vocalist really caught me off guard being as talented as he was. Um, you know I, I don't really remember too much from the rest of the band other than the vocalist being a standout but I'm expecting another metalcore track. I'm just hoping that, you know, this song is even better than Lost Cause. So this is their new song and it looks like they're signed to Dreambound and uh, that has me fired up. So, you know what? That's enough chit chat. So let's fucking do it. Go. Oh, wow. Production's already way better than Lost Cause. Cool change there. Oh, that was short. All right, Neon Graves. 
So yeah, you guys can tell what I uh, see what I was talking about in terms of the vocals. Uh, I think this band knows it. I think they know that they have a good vocalist here, and he definitely kills his parts. Uh, that being said, the song was uh, very generic for my liking in terms of just structure and in terms of what I was doing, blaz and the breakdown buildups. It's done a million times, but then again, this is a new band, so I understand they're trying to find their footing in the scene, and uh, they definitely will because of the vocalist. So you know, with more time, they uh, they'll get even more of a footing but you know what you don't have to be tied down to a simple structure like you can you just go crazy with it like uh, maybe this song might be uh, trying to appeal to the wider audience and i haven't checked out enough of the rest of the singles that these guys have but if they all follow you know the metalcore tropes then it's going to be harder to break through for my uh for my opinion but um you know what like even the genty kind of riffs like it's pretty like done and done so it's kind of like Oh, how do you like stand apart in this very convoluted metalcore scene? Um, you know, you can have these good vocals, you can have these, uh, you know, genty guitars, but you know what? Just play around with the structure. Like, just go crazy with it. Like, I noticed that there was a lot of the electronics that sound, and also there were some keys that you can definitely tell were happening in the chorus, I think, and like the vocalist was even like. Uh, going along with some of the key melodies so maybe just like take a break and let those like other instruments kind of like breathe in a bit and kind of like maybe the, have the guitars kind of match what's going on there and like things like that just kind of like throw you off your expectations just don't do whatever is comfortable like be uncomfortable when writing the music do things you wouldn't normally want uh, normally would do right and I think when you do those things when you challenge yourselves to doing things that you don't usually do something more special can happen because if you just like uh write ideas based off what other bands in the scene have been doing for years you know it's going to be harder for uh you to break through unless you're just trying to experiment and uh you know what you have is a classic metalcore sound but there's definitely room to grow in terms of just challenging yourselves as musicians a little bit more and uh trying to write you know different kind of structures like it's a very simple metalcore structure and even like that ending breakdown i like the little change at the ending because that kind of threw me off that was the only part of the song where i'm just like oh okay like didn't expect them to do that but then again it just kind of like lasted like 15 seconds if that and then it kind of just ended so i felt like there was still room for the song to kind of expand on certain ideas um but yeah like those clean vocals like you gotta utilize those vocals like those vocals are great it, uh, and the harsh vocals are great too don't get me wrong but um yeah you maybe you incorporate different like keys and stuff because like i said you can definitely hear the different sounds that they're implementing uh maybe incorporate those s sounds so the vocalist can uh you know do something unique with what's going on there and then build up like into this like grand epic chorus or something or like maybe a song that starts off slow and builds up near to the end or something I don't know, just play around a little bit more, but uh, for what it is, good song. I enjoyed it. I'm definitely intrigued to see the, the future of Neon Graves. But uh, those are my thoughts on all that we become. I'm curious to know what you guys all thought about the song, so comment down below. Spice up my life. Uh, yeah, so what did you guys think about Neon Graves? Did you like them? Because um, if you're into metalcore, then I can guarantee that you probably like these guys because uh, they definitely are like really good for you know a startup kind of band like I don't think they've been around for too long like they're still pretty fresh so yeah the song was cool and like the music video was good too and I'm glad that they're signed to Dreambound so yeah those are my thoughts but on that thank you for tuning in till next time peace